Tonight, the United States Department of Housing and Urban Development telling a troubled Columbia housing complex that it has got to clean up. HUD gave Colony Apartments until March to fix a host of problems, including mold, infestations, and other issues that present real safety risk to those who live in the complex. If they don't get it done, they face the threat of losing federal funding. Now, this letter comes on top of an ongoing evacuation of the complex, which started back in late December and was triggered by gas leaks, heating and water issues as well. City code enforcers, fire marshals and plumbers were called in to inspect those units and to try and start making repairs. The property management company, the Monroe Group, released a statement that says in part, quote, a residents safe return is its top priority. Our Chris Joseph obtained that letter from HUD outlining their concerns and has more on next steps tonight. Chris. As of Monday night, city officials say 95% of the 300 homes at the county apartments are clear to be re-inhabited. However, their future is unclear. A letter from HUD threatens to pull federal funding if safety issues aren't addressed. You can't see much on the outside of the colony apartments, but HUD is worried about what's inside. It sent a letter in January saying its inspectors were on site in mid-December, roughly two weeks before the evacuation. The complex earned a score of 52 C asterisk. That 52 is out of 100. That C means there were life-threatening issues, and the asterisk signifies there were smoke detector issues as well. The letter was sent to the Monroe Group and Columbia Mayor Daniel Rickman's office. You know, I'm frustrated, yes. I mean, the colony has been an issue and the residents have complained about it for years and years and we've got to change it. Uh, this is not who Columbia is and we're not going to tolerate it. The letter lists off roaches, mold, and issues with accessibility. Monroe has to take corrective action within 60 days from when the letter was received. If they don't, federal funds could be reduced, suspended, or abated. It's unclear what that would mean for residents. We've got, actually got a call into HUD um, to, to see where they are in the process. You know, because that is a big understanding. So how does that affect those those tenants that are, are voucher driven? And the one thing we don't want is to have folks re relocated or, or, or disenfranchised out of, of where they are today. We went to the management office for answers. Yes, hi, my name is Chris Joseph. I'm with WIS. I'm reporting on this letter from HUD. It essentially gives 60 days for this property to correct problems, otherwise federal funding could be removed. It's been about two weeks since this has been sent. Is there a manager that can answer some questions for me? Sorry. Thank you. Do, do you have any timeline as to when this will be finished or any message to the residents about why this has gotten to this point? What would happen if the federal funding gets, uh, federal funding gets removed? Okay. Would they have to evacuate the premises? Oh, okay. Can you provide any answers for anybody whatsoever? Have you talked with the city? The Monroe Group sent a statement afterwards reading in part that the majority of the issues were due to modifications made to the HVAC closet door locks that were performed at the request of the City of Columbia Code Enforcement Division this past August of 2022. The company also said it would be appealing. The letter to the group does not mention HVAC nor an appeals process. The letter was sent on January 10th. It's not immediately clear when the Monroe Group received the letter, but from January 10th, that puts the timeline into early March. Reporting in Columbia, Chris Joseph, WIS News 10.